From FNNO.com, this is the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce, and here's what's in the news for Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. The Wall Street Journal reports U.S. banks and the Fed are fighting over a new round of stress tests before the annual exams begin this fall. The battle centers on the math regulators are using to produce the results. Bankers want more detail on how the calculations are made, and the Fed has resisted, disclosing more than it has. Reuters reports Phil Anschutz began auctioning Anschutz Entertainment Group with an expectation that the sports and entertainment giant should draw bids in the $10 billion range, higher than previously believed, sources say. Potential bidders include trade buyers such as Liberty Media Corporation, investment companies such as Guggenheim Partners, private equity firms such as Thomas H. Lee Partners, Bain Capital, and Colonial Capital. Reuters also reports British Defense Secretary Philip Hammond said he hoped to meet his French, German, and U.S. counterparts to discuss the proposed merger of the aerospace groups EADS and BAE Systems a day before a deadline for the deal. Finally, Bloomberg reports State Street and Bank of New York Mellon will charge depositors negative interest rates to hold Danish kroner and Swiss francs as customers seek refuge from the crisis-stricken euro. That means money managers, insurance companies, and pension funds have to pay the bank to hold the cash. And Bloomberg also reports Fiat will lower its outlook for the European auto market when the company updates its five-year plan that runs through 2014, says CEO Sergio Marchione. For more financial news and analysis of the business world, follow us on Twitter at FNN Online or check out our website at FNNO.com.